Open the software. Let's take a look at the operation of the functional keys in detail. Click New button, and then set the parameters as follows. This is a new page. Click Phone in the Operation area. In the Layer Attributes selection area, you can see various mobile phone brands. Find the mobile phone brand you need, and then select the mobile phone model. Usually, the mobile phone models can be divided into A side and B side. A side refers to the front side of the mobile phone. B side refers to the back side of the mobile phone. If you want to search a specific model, such as iPhone 6, enter iPhone 6, and then click here to search. It will automatically find the template of the front and back side of the iPhone 6. If you want to delete the selected mobile phone, firstly select the mobile phone, and then click the red X to delete it. If you want to move the mobile phone, click the hand and then drag it to the desired position. If you don't want to print the logo, firstly select the mobile phone, and then hold down the Shift key while clicking on the unwanted part. The logo will turn into gray color. The gray color will not be cut. If the mobile phone is too big, the A4 size page will not be enough to hold two sides of the mobile phone templates. In this case. Firstly, select the mobile phone, and then click the F key on the keyboard. The mobile phone will be rotated 90 degrees. Try to put the mobile phone on the top of this page. After select the mobile phone model, now let's select the background. Click background. It will display multiple pictures of different categories. Double-click the picture. It will be shown on the page, and then drag it to the desired position. Due to the cutting error, the picture size should be bigger than the mobile phone. Hold down the Control key on the keyboard. At the same time, click on the corner of the picture. And then drag it for scaling up or scaling down. Setting the background on the A side is the same with the B side. Firstly, select the picture, and then scaling up or scaling down the picture to fit the mobile phone. Just now, we've introduced how to add background picture. That comes with the software. Now let's take a look at how to upload a custom picture to the software. On the operation area, click the image input button. A dialog box will appear. The buttons on the dialog box are open image from disk file, save image file, select image input device, acquire image from twin device. Inverse image pixels, flip image or selection region horizontally, flip image or selection region vertically, rotate image or selection region 90 degree clockwise, rotate image or selection region 90 degree anti-clockwise, select rectangle region, select ellipse region, select heart shape region, select polygon region. Apply the image and exit. Discard change and exit. Now let's input a picture from the computer. 
find the picture and then click open. Since the picture is too big to make the mobile phone sticker, so we select a rectangle region and then click apply the image and exit. Now the picture is in the software. Select the unwanted picture and then delete. Drag the custom picture to the desired position. Adjust the picture size until you're satisfied. Next, let's input a photo to the page. Click to select a photo that comes with the software. If you don't like the photo in the software, you could input customer's photo, such as the photo of the baby or the customer. Select a rectangle region of the photo, or you could directly put the photo to the software. Put the photo to the back side of the mobile phone, adjust the size then drag it to the desired position. Click and drag the yellow dot on the mobile phone to rotate it with any angle. So far we've adjusted the size and angle of the photo. However, the edge of the photo doesn't look so good. So we click the mask to select an effect which can make the edge of the photo looks better. Double click and then the photo will change accordingly. In this way, the photo looks better. This is a front ground which contains some decorations. Double-click on the pattern, and then it will be displayed on the page accordingly. Now we adjust the size. Press and hold the control key so that the pattern can be scaled up or scaled down. This is for adding text. Select the text and then enter the text here. The text will be displayed on the designing area automatically and then you can drag the text to the desired position. You can hold the control key and click to resize the text. Also you can change the color of the text. and then change the effect of the font edge. This is the shape. It contains various abstract patterns. The pattern can be added on the design area. Also, it can be directly printed and then applied to the mobile phone. Now let's select a favorite pattern. Double-click, select custom color. Click OK. Adjust the angle of the pattern. and then drag it to the desired position. This is a diamond A and diamond B. Diamond A contains various patterns that made up of the outlines. You can manually stick the diamonds to the sticker according to the outlines. This is diamond B. Diamond B contains various patterns that not only contains outlines 
but also with precise location and size of each diamond. So far, the introduction of the operation area is completed. When you finish the design of the sticker, you could click Zoom to amplify a certain position of the sticker in order to check the detail of your design. You could click Fit to display the full page. This is the counter. Click Counter and then set the start and end dates. It will display the record of printing and cutting during this period of time. Set a password so that other people will not be able to delete the printing and cutting records. This is the Fill button. Click Fill. This is Options button. Here you can set some attributes of the printer and cutter. Here we can see the Fill setting. Select Color. And then it will display the mobile phone sticker. Also, we can check the box to select Inverse Filling to display the mobile phone sticker. This is the cut button. This is the print button. This is the save button. You can save your design on the computer for future use. This is the open button. In the future, the saved file can be directly input to the software for making mobile phone sticker.